Good morning, modern steaders. I was on Amazon the other day looking for a new axe, and I stumbled upon this one right here for under 10 bucks. Can it be any good? Let's find out together and see how good this axe is or isn't. The head is in a plastic case. It's made by Stan Sport. They're out of Los Angeles. I don't know if it's made in LA or where it's made. Let's open it up. It's got the classic half painted red head paint job. There, yeah, it's got some runs in it. We don't know what kind of job the handle is in here because it's covered with a black epoxy. A warning label. Warning, your wooden axe handle may have shrunken during manufacturing and transport. This is normal for any wooden handle. To ensure a tight fit on the axe head, it is suggested that the wood handle be soaked in cold water overnight before using. The wood will rehydrate and create a tight fit with the axe head. If the axe is used in a low humidity area, it may be necessary to rehydrate the axe handle from time to time. Seems tight to me. It's got a hardwood handle made out of hickory. It's covered in a varnish. Let's see. Let's bring you in close and see if I can show you. The edge has a burr on it. Hold focus. Focus right there. You can see a little bit of a burr so you can tell they sharpened it from this side last and that metal burr stayed on this edge the paint a Little bit of excess paint some drip marks and The wood handle has been shaved down right there to fit and they didn't re-varnish it They got an epoxy in there My best guess is the handle is only glued inside the head. You got some clear epoxy here and black epoxy there. The varnish, nah. Don't doesn't feel good in the hand. But the shape of the wooden handle feels really nice. I like the curve. You got a curve in the back here. Your hand fits nice. You can choke up high. It can fit good down here. The end of the handle swells up, so it catches your hand. So when you're swinging it, it's gonna help it stop. Well, the first test, we're gonna start it off easy. We're gonna chop some kindling. Most people, when they get a hatchet, that's what it's for, is for campfires. So let's try it out, and we'll compare it to our Fiskar. We have our Stand Sport Axe, and then we have our Fiskar hatchet. We'll start off easy with some clear pine. Another way we can do it. Try the Fiskar. When it comes to the kindling test, they're both the same. They 
both do a really great job. I have a couple of scrap 2x3s. They both have small knots in them. It's going to be a pretty fair test. Did a fair job, and that went right through the knot and around. and see how the fish guard does in chopping a two by three. Let's give the fish scar one more try. Yeah, it worked good there. You'll have to be the judge on that one. Did the stand sport take it or is it pretty much the same? All right, this has been pretty easy. This has all been kiln dried wood that we've been trying at this point. Let's step it up a notch and get some firewood. Let's keep it easy and we'll try this one and this one. For starters, let's try this piece of ash. All right, right in the middle with the stand sport. It's got a good crack in it. Nice good crack, about a third of the way down on the firewood. Boom. All right, so now we have two pieces the same size. This will be a better test right here. Be more of a fair test. Two wax. Let's try the fist scar. Try to get in the same spot. Right here. Ah. Fist scar took it on that one. That went through nice and clean. Alright. I'm gonna say, yeah, they're both about the same. Fist scar took it. Let's try the fist scar one more time. Nice clean split. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe the stand sport can redeem itself. It worked, but it wasn't as clean. That's from the same piece of firewood. I'm not sure we can get any more of an even test than that. Let's step it up one more notch. We're gonna go with a piece of hard maple. Let's try splitting this one in half with the fist scar. Alright. Now we got it in half. We can do a side by side comparison. Stand sport. Stand sport right out of the package. Ooh, some good bounce. One hit. Two hit. It's got a good crack there. Let's see. Boom. That was clean. Let's try. The fist scar. I don't like that hit because it's not in the center. It's just going to take that little chunk off. Let's see if we can get it to stand on its own. That worked good. One, two. That was more of 
a fair test of the wood thickness wise. Did it. Left some paint behind. And we start starting to wear off the sticker a little bit. See some scuff marks. I have a few more tests we're gonna do with the two different axes. But I just wanted to give my thoughts so far. I like the weight of the Stan Sport axe. The fist scar is lighter and it's more top heavy. The $9 axe, the weight is a little bit more distributed throughout the whole axe and not just the head. They're both doing a really good job in chopping. I think the fist scar has it when it comes to getting the wood to pop and split. For so this next test, we're gonna go down by the goat barn. I have some old heirloom apple trees down here that we can do the next test on. You eating your hay and staying content? What are you doing, Buttercup? We have our goat pen over here, and right to the left of it, we have some old heirloom apple trees that need some pruning pretty bad. If you have a small camp axe, one of the things you're gonna be trying to do with it is chop down small branches to make a firewood. Or to carve and whittle. So let's see if we can take down the small apple branch. Now it's frozen. It did it, but it wasn't pretty. If you could see, if you could see while I was chopping, the head of the ax kept moving. The varnish with leather gloves just makes it super slick and you can't get a grip on the small ax handle. Just wants to keep rolling. Had a pretty good bite. Not bad. This branch is gonna get pruned anyway, so <laughs> we didn't do any damage to the tree. It'll get it'll get the job done. It's not pretty though. Let's see if the fist scar does a better job or not. It is. Ah. I feel like that was an unfair test. That Fiskar did an amazing job on that branch. Can't even compare it to that small ax. Wow. Let's do a side-by-side -side chop test on the branch. Since the goats aren't using their stools right now, let's clean this off. We're not gonna let this apple wood go to waste. We're gonna chop it up into smaller sections. We'll give it to the goats. They'll eat it and love it. So let's do a little side-by-side -side comparison with chopping small axe. Boom. Fist scar.
Now, and now the diameter is getting thicker also. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Same test, now with the fist scar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do the chop test one more time per axe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. Come on. It was over 20. You'll have to let me know in the comments down below how many swings that was. Now let's do it. Let's do the same with the fist scar. The fist scar destroyed it. <sighs> the goats are saying, we've seen you chop down enough apple trees. Now give us the branches. All that bark is loaded with vitamins and minerals for the goats. They're gonna love it. It's really healthy for them. It's part of their, it's part of their natural diet. I personally bought this axe so I can do some carving with it. So let's test that out and see how it does. This is straight out of the package. We haven't done anything to it. We haven't sharpened it. We haven't taken the varnish off. I wanted to give it a good review right out of the package saying, hey, we got it. How does it work? The varnish on there, it just slides in the hand. It doesn't want to, you can't get a good grip on it. If it hits, you can just twist out of my hand. Don't like that. Varnish has to come off. It's a definite. Let's try the fist scar for carving. You don't got a good handle on it. Oh wow. I didn't think the fist scar was going to do that good. The handles are different. It doesn't fit in the hand nice, but it's not slick. It's plastic and it's a little grippy, so it doesn't twist. With the varnish, you have no grip and it just twists. Even though the handle is fatter and hit, fits your hand nice, especially when you choke up on it. But still, wants to kick. You want to, want, doesn't want to bite, it wants to. So some of that's probably the profile of the blade itself, but a lot of it too is the varnish again. Keep going back to that. 
So the profile of the blade, the edges at the very end tapers. And then on the fist scar, it's got more of a longer taper. So I don't know if that's why it's getting a better bite. Now, or if it's the handle or both. But I didn't want to modify this axe. I wanted to give it a good fair test right out of the package. I'm going to have a link in the description down below for both of the axes. What are my final thoughts? For $9.09, I don't think you can go wrong. I'm going to bring this down to my workshop. I'm going to take the varnish off. I might take the paint off. And I'm going to put a better profile on it and sharpen it up. And then we're going to use it for our carving project that I have in mind. Because it fits the hand nice. It just doesn't want to bite. Or I, I don't know if it doesn't want to bite or if it's just because the varnish makes it slick and it's just kicking it. We have to find that out. Fist scar, right now on Amazon, it's 25 bucks, normally 30. This one's not. This one right now is nine, I believe, normally 14. I like the wood handle myself better. It feels better in the hand. If you break it, you can replace it. This one, if you break your handle, you gotta throw it away. That being said. I don't know. It's a hard decision. They both they both have their pros and their cons. This one's nine bucks. For nine bucks, you can't go wrong. I'd buy it again. Fist scar, 25, 30 bucks. A little bit more pricey. It is just a hatchet, something you throw around. Which axe would you rather have? The nine dollar one with the wood handle? Or a $25? Fiskar axe. If you'd like me to do a video of me customizing the $9 axe, leave it in the comments down below. We can do that. Thanks for coming over and checking out the channel. This is where I'm going to end today's video, and we'll see you guys right back here in the next one. Bye.